Bienvenido a Guatemala. What did you think would happen anyway? Look what is coming down. Welcome to the Merlins and our indispensable eight tips for dealing with cops in Latin America. And we have a lot of experience in this as we've been traveling throughout Latin America and North America for the last seven years. Here is tip number one, don't panic. Now it's true that most of the banditos that we've come across in Latin America have been cops, but the majority have been really helpful and really nice. Yeah, it's true. Um, you know, we've ended up staying in police barracks when we've just asked them you know, if they know of a place to stay in an area. We've been guided through big teeming metropolises like Cartagena, Colombia, when we just ask for directions, they say, follow me, and they put on their lights and we scream through the town. I guess there's not as much crime in Colombia as, as people think because the cops can take out half an hour to guide us across the city, <laughs> which is kind of cool. We've been pulled over just so police can warn us about dangerous areas. However, like any cross-section of society, there are some wrong ones amongst them, which brings us to... Tip number two recognizing the scam. Now fortunately they're not that imaginative. The scam's pretty much the same with slight variations whether you're in Peru or Colombia or Mexico or Panama or Costa Rica. It always follows the basic same pattern which is... You get pulled over for whatever reason they tell you that you have to pay a huge fine and then after some time they'll offer to help you out by paying them a much smaller fine. So usually the fine, the large fine, will need to be paid at a bank or a police station somewhere miles away just to make it seem even less appealing. So what can you do about it? Tip number three. Don't give them an excuse to pull you over. I know it sounds obvious. It is obvious. You follow the laws of the road and you decrease your chances of falling foul of the scammers. However, this doesn't always work. No. I mean, if they want to pull you over, they'll find a reason. So we've been pulled over for all kinds of ridiculous reasons. For drinking water whilst driving. For eating food in the passenger seat. And just any other reason they can think of. That's just two of many. So if that happens... Tip number four. If you speak Spanish, don't let on that you speak Spanish. Unless your Spanish is good enough to charm your way out of trouble. Yeah. If you don't speak Spanish, I think you probably should learn some, so at least you'll know that you're about to be shaken down. So keep repeating, no dinero, no dinero. The idea is that eventually the policeman will get so bored listening to you say, I'm sorry, no dinero, no dinero, but he'll let you move on. Uh, another great tactic is... Tip number five, travel with dogs and or children. We, of course, travel with children and our boys are really friendly. They speak Spanish and it's a great way for the officers to warm to us and perhaps feel a little bit more lenient. Also, when we're telling them we have no dinero, we have no money, we just point at the kids and shrug and say, sorry, we have three kids. We don't have any money left for you, I'm afraid. So if you don't have any kids, uh, you can make them. And or you could borrow some or maybe you could rent some. Dogs are great too. Even small dogs can be intimidating enough for them not to want to come near you. Or annoyingly barky enough for <laughs> them to just make you go along your way. The most important thing though is... Tip number six, never. Ever. Ever pay the bribe. Unless you really can't help it. Now, we've been stopped by the police and had this shakedown scam pulled on us scores of times. Now, we've only ever paid the bribe once. We gave five bucks to a cop because I did something wrong and we were in a hurry and it was just much easier to just do it and go. But really, that's the exception. If you give them money, however much it is, you're just going to make it worse for the next guy and the guy after that and the guy after that. You know, you just don't encourage bad behavior. So, how do you avoid paying the bribe, I hear you say? Tip number seven. 
call their bluff. Agree to go to the station or bank and pay the big fine. Obviously, this works much better if you follow tip number three about not actually doing anything wrong. So what this does when you call their bluff, it eliminates the threat. And instead of becoming a potential mark, you become a potential pain in the ass for them because they don't want to take you. There's one thing they don't want to do is take you to the station, take you to the bank. It's just a threat. So stick to your guns and insist in your broken Spanish that you want to abide by the law and go and do the right thing and pay that big fine. Now when they offer to help, you can say thanks very much, uh, but money is no longer on the table. And this is where you pull the joker from the pack. I would save a trump card, but this is a, a non-politics zone. So um, it's the joker. And this is... Tip number eight. Give them something. Anything but not money. This is the coup de grace. We usually offer them a CD of our music or a download card. Not just because we like to get more fans out there, but it's just a nice gesture. That's what it's all about, really. It's just so these guys can save face. They feel like they've had a small victory. But it's kind of a nice way to make a friend or a fan as well. So if you're arty, you can make some sketches or make little plasticine figures of cops looking cool. And if you're not arty, buy something like key rings or bake cookies or have some beers in the fridge or something. Yeah, or Coca-Cola. They love Coca-Cola. Oh, yeah. And it's a good way to get revenge as well because you can get them to rot their teeth and um, get really bad skin. So it's, it's perfect. But make sure you keep a stash of something because it will happen sooner or later. And when it does... Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it already. Show some love. Give us a like. And put in the comments just exactly how this advice we've given you has helped you overcome the dreaded Latin American cop scam. To subscribe, just hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. Tell your friends. Stalk us through Spiverspace. <laughs> Spider space. <laughs> Cyber space. Cyber space. Spider space. You can stalk us through spider spaces <laughs> because you'll probably want to do that because we've just saved your bacon from the bacon. Thanks so much for watching and good, good luck. luck.